Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Coach's Corner where we answer your questions sent in by you guys to our social media pages. Carry a water bottle with you. Oh, that's a big one. Good one. So, and get a one liter water bottle because then it's easy to track how much you're having. So yeah. if you know if you've got through one or two of those later two liters. So, yeah. yeah, that's our advice. If, it's, yeah, if you don't have, if you don't have a water bottle in front of you, how are you going to drink water? Yeah, exactly. If you don't, it's not like, it's like, we're very convenient people, so if the water bottle is on the other side of the room, you're not going to get up and get it. Like, <laughs> we just, as human beings, we're like, we're like, like we're lazy in that yeah. aspect. So, ha- first have a water bottle there and have, just even maybe set reminders if you're really that bad with water intake. Put a reminder on your phone if you're on the computer. It's easy to set a reminder on a computer where it pops up and says drink water. You can set it for every 20 minutes. Have it in the car with you when you're driving. You know, oh, drink, like, if you're driving to work and you've got an hour to you know, drink at least half a, half a litre on your easy. way to work. And it's mm. so easy. Yeah. On your way home, there's a litre. Yeah. Coming to train, another litre. Yeah. Lady drinks through, eh? <laughs> no, I don't drink any. Um, it's better if you eat. Yeah, it's a right. shock. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. Um, I don't drink any protein shakes. Um, it's better if you eat your protein just to get um, all the nutrients um, you get in a meat um, and other sorts of protein. It is okay if you drink the protein shakes, um, but probably not for your day. Yeah. I was reading a study too and they're saying, um, which is pretty common knowledge, like having a high protein breakfast, but they did found that if you had a high protein breakfast that was around 30, 35 grams, People snatch less later on in the day and eat less, so yeah. um, just eat a high protein breakfast. And if someone's selling you shake, three shakes a day, then. <laughs> Don't. The so other thing is, too, like just going day. back to um, digestive enzymes, when you're chewing, you're releasing enzymes into your mouth, so you break down food, but if you're drinking, um, like you know, even a smoothie, you're not able to release those enzymes yeah. to break down the food, so you're not actually going to absorb the nutrients properly from it. So yeah. you want to be chewing food and it sends signals to the brain as well to release leptin, the hormone, which is the re- weight loss hormone. So you are more satisfied, leads to weight loss. So we'll talk about good science. <laughs> <laughs> questions for fat loss then yeah. I don't think it really has any other benefit than any other diet if we're talking for fat loss um, so this is like maybe it's just calorie restriction yeah. or just getting new calories in a shorter window. Here's a big lifestyle thing. For fat loss if that's, a, if that's the question. Yeah it is for fat loss. Yeah. We don't want to go into the other side of it. Abby wants to go. <laughs> like oh I want to uh, she's, she's, she's like tell us the benefits of that fasting Abby come on. It's the first. Benefits. Oh I'll give no, you. I'll leave again. <laughs> yeah, it's about fat for fat loss. Yeah. But it's it's beneficial with the fact that you you're not constantly eating. Yeah. That's a benefit. Yeah. yeah. So what they what they find with back pain, some of the time it's a lot of psychosocial issues. So yeah. you can get back pain and it's like if it's chronic back pain, you've got to address those issues, yeah. not so much the physical. Yes, core can be related to it, but it's very individual dependent and it just depends on the person. Like, yeah. it's, it's very hard to say what exercise that you would do for someone because the reason you're getting low back pain and I'm getting low back pain would be two different things. things. Yeah. Um, so yes, core exercise is normally good because they normally lack sympathy, yes. Um, but if you did have low back pain, I would probably recommend seeing someone who's experiencing that because there's so many factors that go into low back pain and there's, there's so much research, research to prove that low back pain is so multi-dimensional and there's so many factors that can go into it. Even stress at work, like that can cause you back pain. Yes, you could be lifting with the correct technique, that can be causing you back pain. Um, so it's important to look at it from a holistic point of view when you're looking at back pain. Because yeah, once again, especially if you're back pain, we're laughing at the background noise. <laughs> Just interrupt my 
Okay, just going on. Okay, just going on. We've got a delivery on over this. <laughs> Is it? The sled. New sled. Promo. I was going to do sled. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, especially like, you know, if the glutes are weak, the glutes are such a forgotten muscle. So many people forget how to use them. And they're such an important muscle because of how large they are and because... We sit down. Yeah, yeah. we sit down all the time and they become inactive and they just don't know how to do their job anymore. Chicken, I reckon it's real. Like, like it's, it's just lean, like if you're looking for protein. And then I like to like chuck it with anything like steamed vegetables, anything like that. If you're looking for convenience, like generally fat loss most of the time, you for convenient meals. The chicken kebabs are always good, they're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> it's the skewers and just snack on them. They're a steak. So. Yeah, they are a steak. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can do that, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a convenient as well. Like, I, I don't think. Um, fat loss has to be that hard and complicated. Like, you, like it's, it's great to cook all these amazing meals, but some people just don't have the time. You, know, you look for convenient meals like that. You can put like, yeah, anything like that convenient. Anyways. I think I remember as well that, <clears throat> um, you know, with saying fat loss foods, there's no foods that are gonna make yeah. you burn body fat. It's the amount of calories that your body's consuming versus the amount of calories that your body's uh, burning. So, um, that's a little disclaimer. <laughs> um, but I guess when I'm, I, like pretty much all the time, whether I'm you know, looking to burn body, like trying to you know, decrease my calories or increase my calories, um, I like pizza. Um, and then something, <laughs> something with, um, with low calories is I, I like the, the no added sugar barbecue sauce. There's like hardly any calories on there. And I, I put it on top. Uh, that's my go-to every Friday night. I, mean, I, I make, um, I get a mission base. Oh, homemade pizza. Homemade pizza. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, get, I 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 get, Pretty much the same as morning. what you do. Yeah. Easy. All right, that's going to conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have questions for our next one, make sure you shoot a question to our social media pages, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. See you at the cooking workshop on Saturday. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>